Uh, the spring was pretty interesting because, um, you know, I don't think JT Daniels was, uh, you know, necessarily better than the other quarterbacks. And I think most people uh, agreed with that. And some people thought he might be able to take a decisive lead because he played a, a year and he's more experienced and everything else. But uh, I didn't see that. And I, I don't know really that too many people said that they saw it and my understanding was that graham harrell the new offensive coordinator really liked jack sears so i think you have a little bit of a split with clay helton wanting jt daniels and graham harrell wanting perhaps jack sears and uh harrell made an interesting comment a couple weeks ago he was asked would you uh tell helton if you like sears that he should be the starter, even if he wants JT Daniels. And and uh, Harrell said, "Well, Clay Helton has veto power, but I would I would like to think the staff will be on the same page on who the starter should be." Scott, so, do you get an indication uh, whether that favor on Harrell's side toward Sears is a physical? Uh, evaluation of his skills, or is it more he can grasp the offense? He looks like a better leader uh, of the team. Well, I think you know from what I've heard, he likes his athleticism, and in that offense, he's able to create more because he's got more uh, leg speed and he's more mobile. Um, I haven't heard him say anything about the leadership, but it's kind of known within the team that. You know, he's more popular with the players than uh, JT Daniels, and he's considered more of a leader. So that might play into it, too. But it's also true Clay Helton definitely prefers uh, JT Daniels. So, you know, uh, you I was talking to uh, one of the coaches uh, yesterday, and they were saying you might see JT Daniels start the first game, and then at some point Sears comes and takes over for him. So it's just... There's a little, it seems like there's a little bit of a split going on and training camp will be interesting because for the first couple of weeks, they're still going to be competing to see who the starter is. So it'll be the first test to see how much power uh, Graham Harrell has. That's kind of an odd uh, and maybe telling comment coming from an assistant coach uh, to make a prediction in May about a quarterback battle, uh, not so much about the prediction of who's going to start game one, but that that particular player, JT Daniels in this case, will not be able to keep his job. So I don't know if he's forecasting uh, just that Jack Sears is a better player, but uh, maybe politically uh, that Clay Helton, because of just whatever his stubbornness and wanting to be uh, JT Daniels being his guy, or he thinks that the the fan base wants JT Daniels uh, is going to make that call, but they're expecting him not to uh, pull through and uh, for Jack Sears to ultimately be the guy. It's a, well, one other, other scenario they they're looking at is since he's not as mobile, he might get hurt too. And in, in the new offense, you know, they're going to be throwing a lot Yeah, and uh, they're going to be throwing quicker, but, uh, it's going to still present more opportunities to get hit. So uh, whether he can withstand that is going to be a question because last year he didn't like getting hit. So, you know, it's going to be something that everyone's going to have to kind of follow because uh, I don't think they're all on the same page at the moment. And we'll see in August how they feel. Hmm. Well, Clay Helton's number one concern is keeping his job, so I would think that he would go with the best player because the best player is going to result in more wins uh, regardless of where he stands. Now, it's one thing if his favoritism has to do with evaluation of of, of uh, performance on the field or if it's just some kind of uh, uh, loyalty right. there. That, uh, the natural instinct is you want to survive, but you know, last year uh, when Daniels got hurt, Sears came in and played pretty well against Arizona State and a lot of people thought he might go with Sears because he gave the team a little bit of a boost and Helton was adamant that JT Daniels would return the following week and he played the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah, statistically, uh, Sears played really well against Arizona State if I remember well and we've covered this ground before, you know, 250 yard game, two or three touchdown passes, no interceptions, didn't turn the ball over. And they played a team that wasn't great, but still a, a good 
postseason team about their caliber last year and um, probably should have won the game, but uh, fell like three points short. 